Go in the kitchen. Um, that I don't know if you're you guys uh, like a specific drink from uh, like Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks or any of that. And I was like, man, I just spent at least it's not a lot, like 20 bucks in total for these last couple of weeks on matcha. So I was like, I'm gonna buy some matcha, and I came across this three in one. So, so it looks like if you want to go on Amazon, I'll link it down below. I'm still trying to figure out how to do my uh, Amazon store, and when I get that up, I'll let you know about it. Using one sack per cup at uh, 150 milliliters of hot stir well and serve. And it has a non dairy creamer in it, so it's kind of like vegan so if any of my vegans out there want to try it it's really good <clears throat> what is 150 milliliters in cups <coughs> 0 0.6 in cups does not answer my question. Looks like it just says stir. So I'm gonna taste it, but then I'm gonna transfer it into the cold matcha because that's what I prefer. And see, I didn't text, like actually check it out. It is a Japanese one. Rang Wong. But let me try it so y'all can know what it tastes good. Because I like the Dunkin' as you can tell, their matcha. Okay. 
the only thing that I did different from what they did was use almond milk. So I might, I might get some almond milk. It actually tastes, it tastes good. Got a little something on my shirt because I was doing this. But I'm gonna let it cool off and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna have it cold like they got it on here because I prefer cold drinks. So yeah, see y'all in a minute. Yes, this is good. And for a fraction of the price, I would go with this option. So you can add as much sugar as you want. You can add whatever type of milk you like, which I do either lactate or almond milk. If you like uh, oat milk, you can try that too. Unless you want the regular cow milk, you can do that as well. And it still comes out good. Add a few sugar cubes or you can add I do five teaspoons and yeah it's delicious see you guys in the next one